Hey, what's up guys? So we've had a really, really warm day again here in Melbourne, but luckily I have a couple of items or a couple of things to review, test out. So I recently got a couple of very small, very compact, but extremely smart ISDT Q6 Nano LiPo chargers. So this is basically a compact version of what I've been using for the last 10 years. And it's an extremely smart charger. Basically you plug it in, you set your milliamps or your amps, and the charger itself detects what the voltage is and you push start, it charges, it balance charges every single time. So I'm hoping that these are very similar. So just quickly before I get to the charger itself, I'll just show you what else you get in the box. So obviously you get a little instruction manual. Now I'm not the greatest at reading, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go over that, but I'm assuming there's everything you need to know in that. Yeah, it pretty much looks like it. But yeah, I'm more of a hands-on guy, so I'll definitely learn by using it. You get a little sheet of ISDT stickers, which is really cool. I've never seen a battery charger that comes with stickers. So yeah, that's always a bonus. Now, I have no idea what the BatGo function is, but obviously it's a Horizon Hobbies thing. So it's, it's basically just saying you can't use any batteries that have that BatGo function. Uh, because it is limited to Horizon Hobbies batteries. Without it, won't communicate with it. So basically, if you have any batteries that, that feature this BatGo feature, you're not going to be able to use these little ISDT chargers. As you can see, you get a little clear film. That's just to protect it, you know, stop any scratches from uh, actually end ending up on the charger itself. And just a quick look at my power supply. So I use the Turnergy 540 watt dual output system. Now this is the original ISDT charger that I got about 10 years ago and it is still going extremely strong. But as you can see, it's 500 watts. If I tried to run two of those chargers on this power supply, it would obviously blow up. That's why I thought I'd kind of downgrade and get two 200 watt chargers. And yeah, this should do a perfect job for both of them. And there is the tiny little ISDT Q6 nano smart charger over this side you've got your your balance port and your output your charge port on the other side you've got your input and i think this is a usb plug or micro usb on the back here as you can see it does have a cooling fan which is absolutely fantastic for something this size to have a cooling fan is yeah it's really good over this side you have your air inlet so this is where the air goes in and the fan blows the air out. And as you can see on the bottom here, you have all the basic specs. So the input voltage is between 10 and 30 volts. Maximum input current is nine amps. Maximum output is eight amps. And the maximum output power is 200 watts. So it's time to get this little thing plugged in and see how smart it really is. And guys, check it out. I just got a package delivered. I might have to open this up at the end of the video. I. I think I know what it is. Pretty excited about this one. So both the chargers are plugged in, but I did find an issue when I turned it on, the light from the chargers is just way too bright for my cameras, all my cameras, and it won't focus in properly. So I had to make a little screen out of just heat proof tape because it's yellow. It kind of dulls it down a bit. It does turn it a bit green, but it does focus in a lot better. I will plug this 1500 milliamp 100C5S China Hobbies battery into the second charger here while I explain everything, just let it go through its process. And yeah, we'll most likely get the, the finished tones and stuff at the end of the video. Whoa. So first up, I'll just explain everything without a battery plugged in, go over all the settings and the specs and everything, and then I'll plug a battery in and push start, let you see the starting process. So this is your main screen as you turn on. As soon as you plug a battery in, it'll detect how many cells it is and how many volts are in each cell. So you don't have to choose a cell setting for this particular charger. When we go into the, the actual settings, so we've got all the, the settings here, we've got 
charge if we go into charge we've got normal charge discharge storage charge uh, i'm not 100 percent sure on what the dc power is this is a really cool feature because as smart as the charger is it can also be a basic portable charger so anything 10 volts to 30 volts can go straight into the input and it'll start straight up plug your little batteries in the other side charge them up you get plenty of runtime with little drone batteries or micro car batteries destroy is actually discharging a battery to zero volts so you can dispose of it that is a really handy uh, upgrade compared to the original isdt charger that i used if one cell seems to really be struggling i do suggest destroying your batteries properly discharging them and throwing them away lipo batteries are dangerous so guys this is a really handy function and as you can see there the charger has a timeout so if you leave it on a certain setting for too long it just goes back to main screen so chemistry sorry guys it's not focusing in for me there we go so we've got lithium high voltage we've got lithium polymer lipo we've got lithium ion we've got life lithium i'm not sure what the chemistry of life batteries are uh, we got lead acid i think that is the pb and then we got nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium uh, I'm not sure what U L I H V is. That's, I assume, some sort of high voltage lithium battery, but yeah, I'm not sure on that one. And that's it in there. Now, going down to condition or voltage, as you can see, that is set to 4.25 volts. That's because I charge all my batteries to 4.25 volts. That is because of these chargers. My original one, again, the black one I showed you in the beginning, has this option. But if I go into this, you'll see that now they give you the option to charge to 4.3 volts per cell. That is on lithium polymer setting, LiPo setting, not lithium high voltage. So I assume some of the, the better lithium batteries these days can handle up to 4.3 volts, but I am definitely not going that high with any of my batteries. I'm definitely gonna to stick to the, the 4.25 volts that I'm used to. I know my batteries can handle that. Now going down to cell, you can pick the cell uh, setting of the charge, but as I said in the start, it is a, a self select. So it knows how many cells are in the battery. If you go three cell, go back to the main menu, and plug in a four cell battery, it will detect four cells and bring up four cells here. So I'm not really sure why they have this setting where you can actually pick the cells of your of your charge, but yeah, I think it's just there just in case. And current, this is obviously one thing you do have to set all the way up to, I think, there you go guys, eight amps. Battery I will be plugging in is 1500, so I'll just set that as 1500 and then start or back. So I'll just plug this 7.4 volt 1500 milliamp uh, WL Toys battery in just to show you. And as I said, it detects the cells in the battery, so you don't have to go in to set your cell setting. That's already set up. Push start and that is charging they are very easy very smart chargers to use guys i really highly recommend isdt for a smart charger they are a little bit up there in price but well worth it you will not regret it Front line hobbies. It is. We have a Traxxas Latrax Teton. It's the 118 scale monster truck, four wheel drive. So I think I did mention this in one or two videos. 
I want to do a comparison between this and a few cheaper 1 18th or 1 16th scale models because this was quite expensive but I'm hoping that the expense pays off. And guys, since we're kind of on the subject of lipos or lipo chargers, but I thought I'd just mention I do have a bunch of new Ovonic batteries to test out. I have multiple 2,200 milliamp uh, three cell batteries. I've got a 3,400 milliamp four cell 60C battery to replace my dead cell Yumi Power 3,300 milliamp. And I've got two 5,000 milliamp 4S batteries to test out in my 4S cars and my X Max. So look forward to that as well. But getting back on track, the little ISDT Q6 Nano smart chargers are excellent. Just like their big brother, they are extremely smart and I will be using them for many years to come, I'm sure of it. 